This video is going to be an introduction to hexadecimal notation and bit masking. Um, this is going to be part one of a two-part series. This will cover just the introduction to uh, hexadecimal, such as what is it, and some basic use, use cases of hexadecimal and bit masking. Um, and part two will go into a more in-depth case um, that I personally used in, um, in an internship. Um, this video assumes that you already have experience or knowledge of binary and know how it works. Um, so if you do not, I would suggest clicking the link in the description, which at the moment will be just a link to an external source until I make a video about binary. So let's get into it. Okay, so hexadecimal is simply a grouping of four bits into a single digit. So normal decimal is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Hexadecimal is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And each of these represents a different grouping of four bits. So there are 16 ways to arrange four bits, and there are 16 things here, hence hex and decimal, six and 10. So to uh, make a chart here to map one of these characters to its binary equivalent, we will do the following. All right, so here we have the full mapping. So on this side, so these are our hex digits and this is their equivalent mapping. So we have zero, um, we have all the different combinations of four bits, so zero, 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 all the way to one, 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 um, and that's essentially hexadecimal. So if I wanted to convert a binary string to hexadecimal, so let's say um, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, which I just completely made up, um, what we would do is uh, group it into pieces of four bits. So we'll take this, we'll draw lines here, and add zeros to the front, um, just to zero extend. Um, you won't always do that in computer science, but uh, we'll leave that discussion for another day. Um, and then, so I will take this, look it up in the chart. So here we have zero, zero, one, zero. So this will be two. Here is zero, zero, one, one, which is three. And here is zero, 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 one, which is just one. So one, three, two. Wow, that was not a great example because we don't have any letters in there. Um, Anyway, let's take a, and then um, let's go the other way. So we can have a, let's say, 6AC5, and then let's make this into binary. So this is going to be um, And so we have here is our hexadecimal string. Right, so in short, a bit mask is just a way to turn on and off different parts of an input, um, and it's often represented in hex. So say I have a bit mask that is 0x, 00ff, so that's just eight zeros and eight ones. Um, if I ended this with something, which is how you use a bit mask, um, it would essentially just zero out the first half, uh, the first eight bits of an input, and um, just enable the second eight bits of an input. So um, say, uh, we'll take, um, just an example, 16 bit string, one, one, zero, one, uh, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, and, uh, zero, one, one, zero. And we will end this with our bit mask. Um, this will just produce eight zeros. And then it'll leave these intact. Right? So, um, this would be so this is bit mask and our input. So this is how you use a bit mask. You end it with an input that you want to select only certain parts of. All right, uh, just a quick example of a uh, very simple um, um, bit, bit mask would be, so pretend you have a, uh, um, a microphone with a left and, and right input. So 
say your mic input. is um, six is sixteen bits of input where eight are left and eight are right. So and you're you have you're writing some program where you only want to use the right audio. Now your uh, right right input would just be uh, mic input and hex 00FF. So what this is doing is it is turning off the first eight bits, which are the left audio, and on the second eight bits, which are the right audio. And that is a very basic bit mask example. Um, and now if I wanted to do the left input, it would just be you just end with FF00, and that would turn on the 8 left and off the 8 right.